Don't worry. <laughs> Commodore 64 loading screen back in action. How are you doing? <laughs> Double salute to you. Forgive me, I'm not in an outdoor space, but I do have my plants. So that's kind of bringing the outdoors in. And I'm, I'm in me... Um, I, I, I'll never get over when someone called this a, a Commodore 64 loading screen, which was just the best. I got some pretty good, uh, <laughs> let's call it feedback, where I got ripped from my jumper. But that was the best one, and I'll, uh, I don't, can't remember who it was, but eternally grateful for that one, because that was funny, mate. I wanted to talk about, and the title will probably say it, but... Right, let's start from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning. Um, for, for those of you that are new here, uh, you might not know about my uh, my hard for affiliation with Northern Monk. For those of you that were with me through the journey, you'll know you'll know how important it is to me and how much I love them. And you know, it's not something that it's not a sponsorship deal where I, they reached out and they pay me to do anything. I literally fanboy them and I, I love them as a company and I love everything that they do and I'm happy to help them out any way I can. So when I managed to get a, a, to become one of their patrons it was just a, it's only a little thing but it was amazing to me and it was, a, it was like we all got there together because you lot badgered them, a lot of you did anyway and I appreciate that and I always will do. And uh, it's escalated, so I've had two beers out already. I've had my hazelnut porter beer, um, and I've had the pina colada beer. The next beer, and this is why I'm here, is uh, I've had to be quiet about it. I did mention it a couple of times that I was going to Scotland in summer, and I was going with Northern Monk, but there was an NDA, which means you can't speak about it. And so I wasn't allowed to speak about it, I wasn't allowed to post photos on Instagram or anything like that because what we were doing was quite epic and it was amazing. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah, so Russ, the owner of Northern Monk, he called me, he was in a, car, a Morrison's car park at the time, he called me, he says, right, what we're going to do for the next um, patrons project for you, for you and we started to back and forth. Um, it started with me saying, right, well, let's go up to, I think it was the highest lake in England, and let's take some water from there and make a brew and, and, and this, that and the other. And it, and, it, and it escalated like, do you know them old, remember them, uh, them old cartoons where one of them would whip out a handgun, then the other one would whip out a shotgun, then the other one would get a missile, and then another one would come with a, a nuclear weapon or whatever, and they'd like, bigger and bigger. Um, well, our nuclear weapon was uh, was us going to Ben Nevis to brew a beer, the highest altitude brewed beer in the UK ever. What a journey! What a journey! And what an adventure! And I'm just wanting to share it with you now. And I I did a little bit of a vlog in my style, which my style is just pretty, just chucked together, not very good, and. While we were there, we were we actually had a, a proper film crew with us. Um, my boy Jack, shout out Jack, who and Ollie, big up Ollie, who were filming, and we made a documentary about our trip. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to let you see my shambolic version of events, sort of a behind the scenes, if you will. Right, so I'll take you back to summer, and us trying to get to the top of Ben Nevis to brew some beer. Here we are, look, behind the scenes, mic'd up, just about to go and get some, Tom's here, I mean, um, yeah, photo, Tom, look, <laughs> and the film crew in Northern Monk, and me for some reason, expert survival expert, don't tell them I'm there, there you go, there's the lad, look. just off into Fort William, let's go. Have you made a... Sound boom out of pocket flip there. Uh, yeah, it's just lint out of my ass and belly. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Content, content creating on the streets of Fort William. We've got two lads here. Look, this guy's got a waterproof head on him, and then we've got Jack there with his. I'm just been to get some some supplies, last minute supplies. <laughs> oh, just buying cans of Northern Monk with Northern Monk. So, face of a new world. And we're paying for it, so that's 
put it back. You can see the old whiskey casks at the foot of Ben Nevis and these are going to be used to put the beer in. Sick. Just on a whiskey tour, getting filmed on a whiskey tour by it now. And this is Gordon. Mike Gordon. Yeah. Mike Gordon. Oh Who's that? Like it does, doesn't it? Flash is dad. Really nice. The husk catch yeah. your teeth, that's the only thing. Right. So what we do is we take about eight and a quarter tons. Can I put them back, mate? I don't want them. Yeah. <laughs> coward. Cheers, mate. No, <laughs> it's stuck in my teeth. Yeah. I am a coward now. Yeah, you are. I'm a southern southern fairy. Eight and a quarter tons. We put it through the malt mill. The next one could have been worse, could have been worse. Oh, sure. oh that's the 10 year, that's 95 quid. Should we all just chip in and buy the bottle he broke? Yeah. Legendary, all of us. Like. <laughs> Is there anywhere in the British Isles? I don't think anywhere, mate. I think Scotland's the most beautiful place. Look at this knackered seagull, mate. Just come across him. It's okay. Oh, what are we going to do for you guys? Oh, man, sorry, dude. All right. Well, I wish you all the best. I hope you get home. Ah, oh, we've all been there, mate. We've all been there. Here we are. Just some behind the scenes footage. God, this is smoking off already. Behind the scenes footage with your, with your boy. We're getting midged out, as you would imagine. Welcome to Scotland. I don't know if you can see that reflection. <laughs> Welcome to Scotland. It's absolutely beautiful. Fire's going. We all just took in some beers on the night before our mission. It's good times. <laughs> Halfway to base camp. We're just stopping under these trees for a, a bit of a rest. There's the crew. We've made it to base camp by the lake. We've got all our tents set up. Oh, this is fucking weird, man. Oh, this is weird. There's an abandoned tent. And it's got um, pandas on it and it's got writing on it. What? There's weight in it, there might be a dead body in it and I don't want to capture that live on. That's freaky, isn't it? Somebody might still be using it then, but ready. Work there. What does it say? It says there's only 1,600 pandas left. Oh, I reckon there's like a dead panda in it or so, something. So better rave now then. Fucking hell. What? Maybe they've left it here for an emergency. This statement? Oh, These cool. pandas look evil. That what The weird writing. I think we take this. Don't come to Scotland where you've got the right to roam, enjoy the outdoors, and then leave your f***ing rubbish. There you go. We'll edit the swearing out. Hey guys! <laughs> oh, link below, sit by you. Follow him on Twitter. Follow him on Grind. Oh. I've got headsets, head nets on because midges are terrible. Obviously, the only Scottish dude. Mind you, Russ has got Scottish in him, haven't you? Aye, aye. Are you Scottish? Would you oh, say? My Scottish, yeah. There you go, sir. We have a couple of Scots lads, and I'm still the most northern one, so you make of that what you will. <laughs> Getting out, absolutely <coughs> midge peppered. I think I've got some inside my net. Have you? Nah, you think that I don't, do not take it up. That's what they want you to think. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Intelligent midges. Say again? Yeah, let's go. I see you. <laughs> oh, I do have them in me. Right, we're going again. Look, it's a midge yeah. fest. <laughs> Face to camera, here we are. We're drinking whiskey by the um, lock, getting midged out. There's so many. Uh, getting in the tent. 
and it's raining so best don the duds <laughs> don the duds and go for a swim in the rain oh. right i'm risk I'm ri the gopro's battery's full, uh, sim car's full i'm risking it with this camera it's probably going to break it but yeah you see this oh we just swim out into the middle of town it's cold now right, I'm done. and uh the rain was bouncing and we found a frying pan on the bottom. I'm finding it hard to talk because I'm so cold. Yeah, I'm chatting. Woo! So no, no, no. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. That's top, top five things I've ever done that when we were in there. Really it was bouncing. Yeah. That was cool. <sighs> Morning glampers. We're up at the crack of dawn. I don't know if I got any footage on us going in that, the lock last night when it was torrential rain, but that was one of the best things ever and a definite highlight of the trip. We're waiting for the film dudes to get their shit together. Then we're going to pack all the brew kit up and we're going to head to the top of there. And fingers crossed that cloud will do one and we'll get some nice vistas for you. <laughs> Fop north. Scream up north. Ugh. Thumbnail. <laughs> I didn't do much filming up here because it's been the weather's been a bit bleak. It's been raining and and whatnot, but we finally we finally finished the brew, got it into the pots and the containers, packing up all our stuff, and we're going to try and get to base camp, pack up base camp, back down to the cars, and then to the pub. <laughs> Whew, let's go. We're halfway down. Base camp's down there by the lock. Check it there. Stunning. Mountain rescue, look. We're down here, geezer. I think they're coming right. They're gonna. Oh, they're doubling back for us. We've ordered a couple of curly whirlies, some Lucas aid. <laughs> Nets look up here in, in, in Scotland, mate. Ah, and that's where it cuts out. That's where I stopped filming, got carried away with stuff on the way back down because we had to carry everything back down. And when me and Russ got to the bottom, we, we'd carried the, the big pot between us with the gas canister in it and everything and it was heavy man and what a feeling when we finally let go of that part of the bottom it was euphoric it was amazing yeah the northern monk lads took the uh, beer to head their headquarters and uh, did their stuff to it and made it uh, made it absolutely delicious i have tried some and then the uh, the release of the documentary that we made and an auction for the beers was held in Manchester at the Northern Monk in Manchester, which I was invited to. Uh, did a bit of speaking. Yeah, just that chin in them. How long do you reckon it'd take me to get rugby tackled to floor? Yeah, I'd like to just say, as the survival expert, I know you're looking at me thinking, no, you're not. Because you've got swanky hair, and you know, I look good. Now, I am a survival expert. Um, so it's a walk in the park for me, um, <laughs> but the real stars of the show for me is these guys. It was like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> I was Aragorn, obviously. <laughs> and these were like hobbits, and I had to get into the top of that Mount Rushmore or whatever. It's a great. They manned up, and everyone manned up. It was hard. Oh. It, was, it was solid, and everyone just did such a fucking amazing job. Oh, Woo. Oh. Woo. Yeah, and then we, we auctioned the beers off. Um, we earned a lot of money for charity, man. And the charity is for the North Foundation, which Northern Monks set up to help um, new businesses. It's, and I've seen some of the, the video entries for these businesses, and they're so cool. It's like, uh, for example, there was a farm who had opened its farm to let people come and pet the animals and 
and, and things like that and work around the farm and it's people with learning disabilities and um, just people who need it man, people who need to connect with nature and that was just one of them, there was loads of amazing entries so the money that we made from the beer and the money, everything that was made on the trip and the money that went into the trip all went back into this charity which which is it just typifies Northern Monk and that's why I'm so proud to be a part of it and to put my name next to theirs because they're just legit absolutely legit um yeah man the whole experience i can't it was one of the best things i've ever done in my life looking back on it it was really tough it was hard shout out the brewers man because they're not and i've said this before that and i think i said it on when i was on stage i freestyled all that but it was like lord at rings obviously aragon and then me hobbits who i just had to get to the top so that they could do their thing but they just were the unsung heroes they just got on with it heads down ass up just got on with it um so yeah shout out brian and tom and shout out russ for for letting me be part of it shout out northern monk on a whole and uh, my beer we're gonna make a patron's beer on the back of it which should be out next week i think it's out very soon which will um be inspired by our trip to the top of ben nevis thank you all for the continued support and Thank you all for getting me on a John Peeler in the first place. It's down to you and your your amazing badgering skills that got me there. So I appreciate it from the bottom of my nut bag. <laughs> right, yeah, so I'll leave you with the, uh, the Northern Monk documentary uh, about our time up in Ben Nevis. And I thank you all for watching. Namaste. Out. <laughs>